what's up ghouls and welcome back to my channel today is day 16 of my 31 days of halloween and i believe this is the midpoint or just past the midpoint of my 31 days of halloween so i'm hella excited we're doing so well and yeah today i am a possessed nun a spooky little bitch and yeah um i really hope no one takes offense to this costume obviously it's halloween um I don't know, I wore this costume out, I didn't have any complaints, I don't know, whatever you do someone's going to complain so yeah, I'm going to just brush past that whole section. So this is a hella fun costume, I have so much fun at doing the makeup for this, the blood, everything, it's generally a pretty easy costume, my only thing is I wish I'd done this pentagram inverted and I'd used liquid latex but I do not have time to do that as I have a class to get to. But yeah, overall, this is such a fun look. I am in love with this. I feel hella cool. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to find out how to get this possessed nun look, then please keep watching. Okay, so for the sake of not boring you guys too much, I've already done my base, which is my normal foundation mixed with a bit of white and then some concealer and some translucent powder and I've done my brows already. So as you can see, I have a million swatches going on here. So we are going to start. So my go-to uh, contour powder has smashed for no reason. I literally just picked it up out of the drawer and it's broken. I'm ready to die. So anyway, I'm going to be using the grey contour shade whilst crying my eyes out and um, I'm just going to be popping that where I'd normally contour. I'm going to be taking the Balm's Neat Matte Trimini palette and I'm going to be taking my favourite um, transition shade which is Matte Rossi and I'll be popping that um, in my crease. Kat Von D half of the Better Together palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Swoon, my favourite Kat Von D eyeshadow ever. And I'm going to be popping that on my lid. This look is going to be messy and it's going to be a bit weird but that's because we're possessed none so what do you expect? <laughs> Colourpop's Low Key palette and I'm taking this matte red shade in the corner and I'm going to be using this to darken the outer corner. I'm going to go back into the Meet Matte Trimini palette and I'm going to take the shade Matte Kumar again to darken the outer corner. Okay, on a clean brush I'm taking the shade Matte Rossi again and I'm using it to blend out the edges. tiniest bit of black and I'm going to add that into the outer corner. So these eyes just look a bit weird and a bit bruised and that is what I'm going for. So I'm not going to pop any um, liquid eyeliner on those, I don't want that for this look. I'm going to grab my liquid liner and I'm going to, um, I'm going to draw out underneath my eye and then I'm going to be adding lots of lines trailing down from it. So while that's drying, I'm going to add a colour to my lips and I'm going to be taking Colourpop's Liquid Lipstick in Friday. Now the eyeliner is dry, I'm going to be taking some fake blood and adding that onto where my weird black drops are. Again, I'm going to start with a ring or a line of blood to drift it down. Okay, I'm quickly going to pop on some mascara to my top lashes only. Makeup done, I'm going to go and pop on my costume and I'll be right back. Thank you. 
So I'm back, I've added my costume, so I'm going to talk you through the little bits that I've got. So I added a black wig because my um, my green hair doesn't really fit with the look and the red and everything, so I added um, just a standard black wig. Um, I've then got a, a habit, I think that's what it's called, I'm not entirely sure. Um, which I just bought from a costume store but it didn't come on its own so I had to buy the whole costume but that was a couple of years ago um, so I quickly messily added a pentagram with fake blood drawn on with my fingers I probably should have done it inverted but <laughs> I don't know this is just the pentagram I've got and then some like smears um, it would be really cool to do liquid latex and to do it as if it's been carved into your body but I don't have time for that but I'm really really good because that would have been really cool I then have like a corseted not corset but like a I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's lingerie and I'm wearing it as a top. It goes down to about here and it's just like a top on its own with hooks all the way up at the back. I then have a black PVC skirt on and then I have some um, blood stained stockings. So yeah, overall I had so much fun doing this look. This is such a cool look. I am in love with the whole aesthetics of this look creepy and religious symbol symbolism and pentagrams carved into the skin and just general spooky shit so i would 100 percent walk around like this um i went on a pub crawl like this two years ago um my first halloween pub crawl and it was hella fun um yeah i freaking love this this is probably one of my favorite halloween looks i've ever done so yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed watching me transform into a uh, a possessed nun <laughs> it's been real it's been fun i'm gonna go have an exorcism now so i can make it to class on time yeah <laughs> i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for coming along for the 31 days of halloween journey but there is still a ton more to come so i will see you guys tomorrow for more spooky content bye